Hi there, my name is Lonnie Robb, one of the software engineers. My name is Mike Redoble, I'm project engineer for Stern Pinball. Elliot Eisman, mechanical engineer. Greg Ferraris, art director. Jack Benson, programmer here at Stern. I'm Wayson, I'm a game designer, software engineer. Hi, my name is Mark Galvez, and I am a DMD animator. I'm John Trudeau, and I design pinball games. WWE is a great pinball title. You've got dudes, you've got strength. It's like explosions, flashy. It's got a lot of action, very, very bombastic. It's got a lot of big moves, excitement, a lot of fireworks. Pinball's got a lot of big noises, big shows. I don't think we have fireworks in the machine yet. It might be a fire hazard. I think WWE makes a good title for pinball for its theatrics and over-the-top personalities. It's really the personalities, atmosphere that wrestling creates, all in good fun. Wrestling's just fun to watch. I think that translates very well into pinball. WrestleMania, got a beautiful franchise here. Very exciting. In your face, over the top action, constant storyline, ebb and flow. We try to create a narrative and a story that we weave through mechanics and light shows and speech and sound and dot events that just take you through an ebb and flow of emotions. What's cool about this project is we have wrestlers that everybody has grown up with. We try to get as much representation throughout the WrestleMania era as we could. People who are young are familiar with Triple H and Sheamus, John Cena, The Rock. I'm more familiar with like The Rock era. Some of those old school guys are into Andre. The Hulk. Hulk Hogan. We're gonna have Hulkamania, Hulk Hogan. Again, even older, it's really cool to have a project that allows you to touch base with all of these wrestlers. It was really great working with the WWE team because they were totally into the product. When they heard they were working on a pinball machine, they couldn't be more excited. Working with the WWE has been really good in terms of getting assets and being able to use those assets. They've been a great licensor. Whatever we needed, it's been really easy. It really helps to build characters that are being represented in the narrative and storyline. The champion Triple H, the oh talent to the rock, and what a suplex by the champion. I don't like the son of a gun, but he's a hell of an athlete. And then we have custom speech. To get the script and to get the speech for the game, we did work with Michael Cole and Jerry King Waller. Doing their play-by-play -play back and forth and doing things that we did not Right. They did a lot of funny stuff. They're playing the pinball game and they're announcing pinball. Apparently it was like a laugh a minute in the recording. It's been nothing but a blast. It's a real treat getting to see all these people and speak to them. I'm very familiar with WWE throughout its history. He has a passion for the WWE, which is a good thing. Funny how even after all this time, the names and faces has changed, but the excitement level is the same. I used to wrestle in high school and stuff, you know, so I used to mimic the moves, jumping off the tables, jumping off chairs. My brother and I were huge wrestling fans when we were kids. I distinctly remember number WrestleMania 3. Randy Macho Man versus Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. I loved Ricky the Dragon Steamboat because, you know, he's Asian. My favorite all-time wrestler has got to be Hulk Hogan. Probably the Hulk. I would say The Rock. I really like The Rock. It's the way he's always kind of goading his opponents. It's hard not to say Hulk Hogan because he's just so classic. He was the big name wrestler when I first got into wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, Hulk Hogan! My favorite all-time wrestler would have to be Andre the Giant. When I was a kid, I remember going to the drugstore. There were the wrestling magazines, and there was no internet. And you see wrestling on TV once a week, maybe. He would come through the region. He was, just, he was a giant. He literally was a giant. How could he be defeated? Andre the Giant is the... Is the man. We actually had WWE art team do the backlash and cabinet artwork. The difference between the LE and the Pro package, we're gonna primarily focus on legends on the LE package. All the superstars that WWE have had since the dawn of WrestleMania. On the Pro model, we have Daniel Bryan, The Rock, John Cena, and Triple H available for the player to select from. Mechanically, you'll see some changes. In the LE, there's gonna be more shots available. We've got new features. I don't know if they've been seen before, if they have. It's been quite a while. A ram flipper, which is something new. I think one of the cool features for the LE is definitely this flipper. Being able to flip a ball off the ramp, That's intentionally, has never been done before. It's kind of like taking a guy off the top rope. Kind of like that, yes. Yeah. There's a spinning disc in the wrestling ring. There's my mech, which is a spinning disc, and you'll get to be able to put a bunch of balls in there, spin them around, and hit targets. So this is the layout. This is the spinning disc for the ring. The spinning disc will allow us to show opponents wrestling the player back, essentially. Yeah. This is the underside of the ring. You can see it's pretty tightly packed. Here's the big spinning disc and its motor. Here's the bottom orbit. What's kind of unique about this is it's an all metal orbit. There's a nice little U-turn lane underneath the ring that will bring you 
back to your flipper so fast, you might not expect it that quick. This is going to be the cutout for the screen. This is the new skill shot with four switches. There's two wire exits for the LED, and then the flipper Mac around here that knocks it off. That's the pinning mechanism. The pinning, yes. Allow mm -hmm. you to defeat your opponents. You have to pin them in the hole. This is the eject. You can see it drains from the ring, and then it has a chance to actually kick it from the flipper. The difference is from the LED to the Pro, there's no screen, obviously. That's mm -hmm. a big one. There's no spinning disc, but kind of a cool feature is the two ring exits are different so this one drains you straight back down to the flippers down here and then this one trickles back down here through the ladder and there's no third flipper yeah there's no third flipper but you do get another shot through here into the pop bumpers which you don't get on the le so there's definitely gonna be some new features on the le that's gonna make it play a lot different the game is quite unusual one look at it you can just tell the main feature of the game is the ring the main feature on this game is the wrestling ring the ring itself that's on both the pro and le the ring is partially targets and partially what we call slammers. The ropes are controlled by the player. We're calling them slammers. They're not flippers. I think the hardest thing about this game is to learn to use the slingshot. The ring is controllable with the flipper button and you can slam the ball into targets to try to defeat opponents. It's accessible off the plunge and via both ramps. In the pro, the ramps have the potential to circle around left to right, and in LE, they can loop around both ways. The ramps also dump the ball into the ring. On the other side of the ring are targets and a hole. There's three different attacks that you can use, slam attacks, rope attacks, and turnbuckle attacks. It's fun to play in there. You can actually learn to kick around. It's a new, it's a new skill you learn. The objective is to get into the ring and pin your opponent. To do that, you hit the targets, which the eject. You can either throw the other superstars out of the ring via the side exits or get thrown out yourself down the main exit. You might get thrown out of the ring by your opponent. This is a non-standard pop-up per set. What we're trying to do is create the feeling of chaos in and out of the ring. So when you get thrown out, you don't know what's going to happen. After the ball exits the ring, the ball kind of pachinkos its way down either to one of these wire ramps or into the pop bumpers themselves. And that's controllable by the player depending on how much you want to shake the machine. You have to get the ball back into the ring for a one, two, three, you your opponent. Kind of incorporates a lot of different parts of the wrestling match. It enables itself to develop features from it. The main goal is to become the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. In order to do that, you have to regress all the way to WrestleMania and defeat the final opponent. We have the United States Champion, the Tag Team Champion, the Intercontinental Champion, and the World Heavyweight Champion. You want to win a bunch of matches, you want to perform your signature moves. After you've proved your worth in the ring, then you're going to be able to go into WrestleMania. I think people will instantly be reminded of the over-the-top personalities. People my age will be more nostalgic and remember the Hulk Hogan's, the Macho Man's, and the Ultimate Warriors. WWE is this exciting entertainment industry that has so much character, so much personality. I'm real happy with the game. I got into it real easily. It's a nice, easy game to play. There's a lot of depth to it for the real pinball fan, but it doesn't hurt you to not know how to play. It came out good. Every time you go to one of events, everything, every aspect of it comes alive. We're going to try to jam as much WWE lore into that game. WrestleMania, it's great. It's happening. <laughs> Welcome to WrestleMania! You have to pick one person here at Stern. Who do you think you could be in a wrestling match and why? <laughs> or who would you want to beat in a wrestling match and why? <laughs> Who's the smallest? If I had to wrestle one of the team members here at Stern Pinball, it would obviously be Mark Galvez. The reason why is because I am so much larger than Mark. I think it would have to be Lonnie Rapp, because he's my supervisor. He is large, and I could probably be quick, like Ray Mysterio. Let's see, who could I beat? Definitely not Mike Rodell Boy. He's a ninja, pretty much. I think I could take on Trudeau. <laughs> I guess I'd pick Steve Ritchie to be in a wrestling match with. I'd want to kick his ass. I'll take Gary. That would be Jody Dankenberg. <laughs> <laughs> Can I wrestle Jody? Just because he deserves it. Wow, signature move. Probably, you know, get him like this right in his mouth so I wouldn't have to hear him. The slam. I'd probably do a pile driver followed by a body splash. Oh, it's hard not to love the Iron Claw. I wouldn't mind trying to do any of the, the stuff that Ray Mysterio does. High acrobatics. Probably the needed to groin. <laughs> the souffle. The souffle. Can, yeah. Can we see it? Oh, okay. Basically what it is, oh. I come behind his, uh, what do you call it? his waist and then flip him over. <laughs> I think it would be something like pinball related. I think it'd be like the big flipper, maybe like a top rope attack. I'd be like the ball plunging out on the play field and like curl up in a ball and land on the guy. That'd be my, my pinball maneuver.